to another video today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Photoshop I know I don't normally do tutorials um but yeah um I want to start doing tutorials because I don't know I just like teaching other people how to do stuff and you know that type of stuff but um yes guys I'm gonna be changing my name back to flash clan it's probably already changed by now by the time this video is uploaded um but yeah because i've been changing my name so many times and stuff and yeah i'm just keeping it with flash clan but anyway you probably don't want to hear about that you want to learn how to make this amazing logo because today we're making a logo in photoshop so you're gonna want to go new uh you can name it wherever you want but you're gonna want to have the width and height at 5000 and the resolution at 300 uh you can have it I, if I was you, keep it on transparent and make all these pixel, pixels uh, and then this one pixel sa slash inch and then from that you can get this big thing. Now um, before you start anything you're going to want to get a background so I've if you search this on Google you can find loads of stuff like this. I'm going to go on this one and I've already found one it was, no was it this one? No. Oh, I don't know where it's gone. I had this really good one. It was right here. Um, all you gotta do is just go save as and then save it. I've already saved it, so yeah. Um, once you got that, you're gonna want to go back to Photoshop and go place and go find the thing where you put it. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yep. Now all you gotta do is hold the shift button down, and it should just put it into place um like that and then you can just click on that and place there you go now as you can see it's all good and looks really nice already it's well not really because it doesn't have the background so also before you start you may want to actually have it your own color so if you go on color overlay and if I was you put it to about uh 66 from here you can then choose the color you want and yeah I'm gonna make it a nice light blue because I can like that um, if you guys want to you can copy the number right here it's 00F9FC so there you go you can go borrow that and now look this is blue I may actually don't put that one in if you're gonna want to do literally the exact same as me I'm just gonna put it down a bit to about here there you go so if you wanna have that it's 0DD9DB there you go so you guys can go take that um, and get this nice color for the background and yeah so now the first, next thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to go want to go to this thing or whatever is here it probably will be a rectangle tool or something but you want to go to, you're going to want to go to custom shape tool and from here you are going to want to go down until you see this one choose this and there you go that's pretty much it now all you gotta do is hold shift so it stays a nice good circle just gonna keep going until it's there there you go now oh you got a pretty good circle you're going to want to go to select wait no i'm doing that wrong um you're going to want to select the circle go uh select go uh where is it is it this one no oh it doesn't matter just leave it the way it is and then from here you can do this so if you go show transform controls you're just gonna want to put it to about here as i would say and then apply the stuff there you go now you got your circle it should like click into the middle and there you go i'm i really kind of bogged by the background it needs to be moved over a bit there you go so now you got your circle all good now you're gonna want to go to a website called Defon or whatever. Defon is probably the best, but anyway, in the link 
in the description uh, there will be the font scream again this is what I'm gonna be using so if you go to the description you can go get scream again and you can actually use it for yourself I'm gonna be doing F because I'm flash gone and as you can see it's a nice F so you want to align it with the circle so it's this all good that's pretty good uh make it the size of 800 that's probably the best i would say and then from here you can just put it in the right place you want it to be if i was you i would keep this stuff um going out the circle it will look really nice once the logo is done if there's actual stuff going out the circle so for now leave it like that and already it looks okay it's not the best but we're gonna start changing it so if you go to the f and go to gradient overlay you can now add a gradient if it actually goes to the setting there you go i've already got a preset one which is red uh dark blue well blue because blue is already a dark color and then light blue all of them together and it makes this nice color really nice i really like it and now from here you're going to want to go to blending options again sorry that i went off you're going to want to add a stroke and or oh, go to the actual stroke menu um have it at about let's make it 27 there you go yep so you have this really nice now all sticking out already good now uh that's pretty good i'm if i was you you can go to the shape and actually do the exact same by that i mean you can add a stroke um this time don't add too big of a stroke make it a bit smaller actually just put it the exact same is actually fine so 27 that's good and then you can go to the gradient overlay again and this time you can do the exact same one and this i don't know why the circle isn't changing okay well, what's up with it what is up i don't know why it isn't changing color oh is this even the right thing yeah i don't know why it isn't changing it should be changing color it doesn't matter anyway because it's fine like this really don't know why it isn't let me just check this again that it's definitely not broken or something no definitely not i guess it's, it's fine the way it is now oh uh, uh, actually um we should be able if i go like this maybe no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we got it like that now looks fine oh wait no i remember you have to r rasterize the shape and there you go now it's got that so now it looks really nice like this but now all you gotta do is grab control and click on both of them from here you're going to want to go and i forgot which is this rasterize ah uh, you want to blend them together but i i'm dumb and forgot how to do that because oh my god oh my god guys i'll be back in just a sec once i actually remember how to do this be back okay guys i'm back all you literally have to do you can just click on it and once you've controlled both of them you can just go merge layers and it will merge them together so now if you look these are now two these are both together so you can put this back in the middle uh hope that you're fine with where the f is and stuff because that's how it's going to be now and this we are very end to the to the end to finishing this logo tutorial it already looks really nice but we are literally about to go really crazy and just add some really cool effects what you're going to do from now is you're going to go want to go new 3d extrusion from selected layer and um takes a bit because i'm recording it may go a bit faster for you it depends how good your computer is and as you can see this is already super cool just from doing that stuff so from here you're going to want to click on the f and go to shape prep presence present presents I, I can't say it properly and then from here as you can see if i choose this one it will change just the way it looks and stuff 
if I go to this one you, if you look at the F and stuff it changes as you can see you can choose this one or like this one wait for it to load takes a bit more loading for me um, but you can choose this one my favorite is actually this one I like it a lot um, yeah I think it looks really cool like that and then all you gotta do once you've found the one that you like the most like there's loads of different ones like you can't even have that and then from here you can I'm just gonna go with this one as I like it loads and for it here you click off it and as you can see it already looks really nice but from here you can choose how as you can see as as i put this down oh god don't go too far if i put this down it just makes the 3d like you can choose how long you want it to be i'm gonna have it quite long but not the longest about that is probably the best yeah let's do that and then from here once you are actually done so i'm happy with this you just go to layers and then from here you just click render wait until it renders and then you can go to file and save it i'm not going to render because it does take about uh half an hour on this pc um it actually depends on your pc it may take you at a, a like hour to render it can take quite a long time so you're gonna have to wait but once you've done that you can go to render I'm not going to do it. You don't have to render actually. You can do it the quick way. You can just go save as. Go to um, JPEG. And um, I'm just going to call it. Uh, uh, new. Lofgo. And then from there it will save it. You're going to want to go literally the maximum quality. And as you can see. This is the thing rendering it you don't have to but it does just make it look the tiniest bit better but i would actually recommend not rendering it and then once you're done go to the folder and as you can see here is the logo that we just created hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um hope you guys get new awesome logos and i will see you guys in another video bye guys bye Bitch, you go.